You know, one of the most common consultations we see are both men and women looking to reverse the signs of time on their face. And the strategies when it comes to anti-aging of the face include everything from the very minimally invasive and preventative to probably the more highly invasive, which would involve surgery, scalpel, operations. Some of the preventative strategies that I think that all patients should look into are number one, being mindful and respectful of the sun. Finding a good sunscreen to help combat the effects of the sun has got to be the cornerstone of everyone's anti-aging strategy. I've always said that maintaining a healthy weight, eating a balanced diet, having some physical activity and exercise are also crucial at staying young overall and the face will follow. Hydrating the face with a good line of skin products could be another important preventative measure that both men and women should undertake. Away from the preventative and topical treatments come mildly invasive strategies like fillers and Botox. And during a consultation, we would be able to best explain how these modalities can fit into an anti-aging strategy. Finally, as we move our way down to the more surgical side of facial rejuvenation, the two most common areas that we are asked to treat are the eyes and the neck. Surgeries designed to improve the eye and orbital region include a blepharoplasty, which is eyelid rejuvenation, and brow lifts. Blepharoplasty procedures are performed to reduce the lines, eliminate loose skin, tighten tissues, and even gently reshape the eye. These procedures can be performed through well-hidden incisions that typically run in natural creases that extend into the crow's feet. When discussing the upper lid, I often only address the excess skin. While I address the lower lid, it is not only the excess skin that needs to be removed, but excess fat and even tightening the muscles of that lower eyelid. Recovery from blepharoplasty is generally well tolerated with only minimal pain and some swelling. The swelling usually begins to subside within the first several days and makeup can usually be applied by the end of the first week. Patients will be thrilled with their new bright-eyed look and how the years have been taken off their face. After a blepharoplasty, it is not uncommon for our patients to look and feel 10 years younger.